You are looking at valentines made using a medium called cyanotype. They have then had color pencil and pen applied to them for a little more color. And the result is a valentine that you can give to anyone you care to that was made 100% with your own efforts. And in this video, we're reversing the process of making these valentine cyanotypes so that you can see exactly how they're made. And in this case, I'm just uncoloring everything. Obviously, in real life, I colored them, but in this video, we're reversing it, so I'm uncoloring them. Now, we're going to see what the cyanotypes looked like before they were colored. In fact, they were still drying at this point. So here's the ones that we made, and I'm going to get a little closer so you can see, and I'm going to rotate the camera so that we reorient a little bit. These are all wet, because the way you make a cyanotype is to pour water on it. That's how you develop it. And in this case, we're seeing the water undevelop the cyanotypes because, again, we're watching this in reverse. I've got these just applied to a window screen that I've taken out of the window and sprayed with water. It's a very straightforward process. Once you've made a cyanotype, to develop it, all you need is water. And here's what the cyanotypes look like after I'd put things on them. As you can see here, conversation hearts were what I used to make these cyanotype valentines. And I'm just going to put these in the sun here and they're going to expose for a duration of time, or unexpose in this case, because again, we're reversing this footage. And now I'm gonna show you, here's what they looked like when the cyanotype paper was fresh, new, and totally unexposed. And I'm gonna put away the original four by six ones, and I'm gonna put away the original three by five ones. You can get your own cyanotype paper packs at lightprintpaper.com, which is a link to my Etsy store. You can also make your own cyanotypes using a tutorial I've made, and you can find it here. And now that we've seen the whole process in reverse, let's watch it forward and get a little more sense of how this actually worked. Again, it's just a matter of laying things that cast a shadow onto the cyanotype paper, wetting those cyanotypes to develop, and then letting them dry on some sort of, you know, screen or otherwise. When you have all those finished cyanotypes, you can color them in with color pens, pencils, etc. Highlighters are great, and the end result are valentines that you made yourself that you can give to anyone. In this case, we made these at a coffee shop, so they got given to the baristas on staff that day. And I hope that everyone's day is a little bit better for the valentine that they received, as well as yours.